Hi, my name is Vina, and I'm a 10th grader in Interlake High School, and I'm part of the Salmon Savers team taking part in the Lexus Eco Challenge. The Pacific Northwest region provides an exceptionally rich and nurturing environment for salmon. For the people that are living in this area, salmon plays a critical role in both the local economy and culture. So I will be talking about six different types of species and giving a few descriptions about them. So the first one is Chinook. And Chinook are also known as the kings of the, uh, are also known as kings. And they're the largest species and they are about to uh, 125 pounds and they live up to seven years. And they spawn mostly in um, large rivers or streams and in deep, fast water. And their flesh color may vary from white to pink to red. And they are the least abundant of the North American Pacific salmon. The next are coho, and they're also known as silvers, and they spend one to two years in fresh water before migrating to the sea, and they require small headwater streams for pre-migration period, and they're originally one of the most commercially sought after species, now depleted in many of the local areas. The next species of salmon is chum, and it's also known as the dogs for their canine-like teeth, or as asceta. Uh, also after their nanai, which is an Asian Aboriginal group uh, name. So it's uh, bro uh, the broadest geographic uh, range of all of the species, and it ranges from uh, California to Korea. And they spawn uh, low in the river systems, and they migrate to sea soon after hatching. And the flesh color may vary from white to pink to red. And their dire flesh is well suited for smoking. Uh, the next type is the pink salmon, and they're also known as the humpies, and they're the most abundant of the species, and they're also the smallest of the species, and they often spawn in estuaries or low, uh, lower reaches of the rivers, and they migrate to sea soon after hatching, and they have a two-year life cycle with uh, alternate even and odd year runs. They have the lowest fat content of the species, and they're frequently used for canning. The next type is sockeye, and the sockeye are also known as reds, and they have the darkest flesh of the species, and the name comes from the first na uh, nation, sockeye, meaning fish. The, they're the greatest variety of life history patterns, and they spawn not only in rivers, but also in lakes. And they spend one to two years in freshwater before migrating to sea. Some populations uh, have become landlocked, and so they're known as kokanee salmon. The next type are steelhead, and they live as much as four years in fresh waters before migrating to sea. And they may mature without ever leaving fresh water, in which case they are known as rainbow trout. And they often do not die after spawning, but will re-migrate to the ocean. And they're highly prized uh, for anglers for their fighting spirit. So these are the six common species of salmon that are found in the Pacific Northwest. Thank you.